What up, y'all? It's beautiful Friday. I'm about to head out, run some errands real quick, threw a load in the laundry. My washer's making a weird sound. You hear that? What is that? Why is it doing that? Is that normal? I don't know if that's normal, but looks like it's a beautiful day. I'm gonna go run these errands. I'm gonna take y'all with me. Let's go. the hell? Where's the sunlight? It's raining, it's cold. Come on, man. I miss the sun. Bank stop, baby. Gonna pull out some quick cash because I gotta go to another bank. I'm gonna go hit the gym, work on another edit, and talk to you guys in a little bit. Because this weather is stupid, man. I hate, I hate this weather. I mean, the cold weather is okay, but the, with the rain, I just hate it. Moving on. Can't wait till we get to the day where everything is just digital, right? And I'm wondering, does that scare you guys? Like where cash is just like not as important? I mean, it's important, but everybody's just literally electronic. And if I think about that, like we are, though we have that now. What if everything just like scans on a barcode, like, like on your hand or something, you know? Like credits or, you know, instead of the currency, like I just, I think that's so wild. That's so wild. I know, food for thought. Head into another bank to make a deposit. So I was gonna go outside and talk to you guys for a little bit, but as you can see, the weather is just horrible. Overcast, it's raining, and it's cold. So I was able to, to knock out my fifth credit card out of six total that I've had when I started last year. If you're not familiar with Dave Ramsey's Total Money Makeover, uh, the program is seven baby steps. And the first one is baby step one, which is you get $1,000. Once you get that minimum emergency fund, you move on to baby step two. Pay your debts off, forgetting about all about interest rate. You just go based off balance, list it from smallest to largest, and start knocking them out. And in total, I had six credit cards, student loan, an auto loan, and a personal loan. So as you start paying off the debt from smallest to largest, you pay off the first one. That money you were throwing to that credit card, let's say credit card number one, all that money you were throwing to there now goes to. And once you pay that off, all that money going there and anything you can squeeze out of your budget goes to credit card number three and so on and so forth. Now, as time goes on, you'll notice, one, the traction of paying off the debt, two, your credit score goes up. I, had, I started this at like 590. Like I had a low credit score, like mid to high 500s. And now I just uh, recently uh, that I looked at it from that last video I posted, the last Vlogmas, but my credit score is between uh, 690 and like 720, somewhere between there through creditkarma.com. So naturally your credit score goes up because you're paying down the debt. So in doing this program, uh, I've noticed it, it's really hard, it's really hard to stay on plan because it, it, the program, it takes you, it takes a part of your life that you need to kind of not put on hold, but you really need to be disciplined, you know? And I've had a lot of help with family and friends that helped me along the way. And I really appreciate with them. And if it wasn't for them, I might be a little further back than where I am now. But the gist of it is you still got to stay on plan. Now, what the plan does is it helps you build strong spending habits. Because I had bad spending before I started, which racked up about over 20 in total, about 40 grand in debt, a little more. So the spending habits that I had before weren't mature enough to build wealth down the road, meaning if I made a good income then, 
I'd probably be further into debt now. I thought I knew what I was doing, but I was building up a lot of debt, you know? I noticed building a budget, you know, you start telling your money where it's going, you know, like slowly, like start planning out. Okay, do I really want to buy this if I'm going to be doing this next week? Or I got something planned coming up in a few months, I want to save up for it because I don't have any credit cards, you know? I cut up my credit cards. I made a video about that one. If you haven't seen that video, I'll leave a link right up here. Check that out. I cut up all of my credit cards and it was brutal because a lot of them were like my, like my banking cards were like my safety net and it was a really nerve-wracking feeling. Hold on, hold on. Let me see if I can fix the lighting here. Is this better? Uh, a little bit better. So, so in doing the baby steps, you slowly realize that over time, you develop these good spending habits, these good relations with money where you're now telling it where to go, but now you have an idea and a plan and you can see a structure being built and put together because you're noticing the debt and, and the impact that it's having, your, your income is having on the debt, uh, that, it, that it's knocking it out very efficiently. You're, you're seeing these credit cards knock out one after the other after the other and you're not using them again. So after like, my dryer's done. I gotta get that real quick. If you're thinking about, if you're wondering or if you're scared, if you're worried about, you know, the life that you're living now as far as financially, if it's unstable or you're questioning like, how can I build wealth? Like, how can I set myself up for the future? You know, ready for retirement? Are those things planned up? Am, am I doing what I'm doing? Is it right? Am I on the right path? All these questions you might have that you probably never really thought about, whether you're 21 or 60 years old, you can always start now. And I strongly recommend Total Money Makeover by Dave Ramsey. It's a simple seven step process laid out for you. So one thing I wanna state is one of my cousin recently said on a video we did for him uh, about change. And he made, and he said this so perfectly, I'm gonna go ahead and play it right now. You want things to change, you gotta change. You can't do the same thing over and over again and expect something, something different. If you're not happy with the way things are going, well, you're con if you're unwilling to change, things are never going to change. You know, and if you fail, I don't think you can fail, man, because if it's something you enjoy, there's no wrong in it. And I find it so true, especially when it comes to finance. You got to change the habits. If you're doing the same things and expecting a different result, I mean, hello? Keep pushing out and keep going. If you're if you're thinking about if you're on the plan right now and you're just demotivated and you're like, man, like I want to do stuff. My friends or family are going here doing that. And I want to do it, but I'm broke. Like, don't worry. Those things only stay for a very short time. It's been a, a little over a year now for me. That's taken off forty thousand dollars in debt, and I'm about halfway done. That's spread out through six credit cards, two loans, and and my student loans. So now I'm coming up to my last credit card and then my student loans, and that's it. I feel like it's life-changing to where you can take it down the road, whether you start building a family later, or you already have a family, you talk to your spouse about it. I feel like if you have a partner and people that are, that are motivating you down the road, I, that has been extremely helpful, especially for me, because sometimes when you're, you feel like you're alone in this process, uh, and you're just like, man, and you see your friends and family doing all this kind of stuff, you know, and you're not in their personal life, so you don't know if it's dead or cash, and, and you're on a program and you just want to stay on it, and, and the old you is creeping up, and you're like, oh, let's go, we got that credit card, we just paid it off, let's go ahead and use it. It's only two grand, you know, you have four grand limit, that's only half, you're okay. Like those little questions, the little devil in the back of your mind just starts creeping, 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 saying, it's okay, you can pay it later. It's okay, you can knock it out later. Squashed all that. I learned that this process has helped me develop spend, healthy spending habits on my personal budgets. And I just wanna say thank you to all of those of you that have been uh, supporting me on this journey. It's still going strong, but I feel like this last credit card debt is a huge one uh, because the amount of money that you pay towards these debts, you know, whether you get a huge bonus check or you're working a side job and that, that check comes in, you're like, all right, what do I do with this money? Just chunk it towards debt, you know, and you feel like you're not rewarding yourself with anything. That'll come down the road. That'll come. You just got to stay motivated, stay on the plan and just keep crushing it, guys.
appreciate you guys watching. If you guys want to see the beginning of my journey, go ahead and hit this video right here. Go ahead and hit this video right here. That'll take you to where I cut up my credit cards. It was very nerve wracking. It's dated too, so you can check how much debt there I'm on. And then go ahead and hit this button right here to subscribe to the channel if you guys want to keep seeing the journey. Make sure you got that sinking fund ready, baby. Christmas, Santa Claus is not gonna help you out with that one. That's on you. Be a grown up. Let's do this. Peace out.